first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The Milwaukee Bucks have a commanding 3-0 series lead. Is it time for their dreams to be realized? For their thirst to be quenched? Find out tonight as they do battle against the Indiana Pacers. Will there be an upset in round one? It's all coming up next. This series has gotten completely away from them now. Greg, they haven't played well. They look frustrated. Uh, they're all over the place. They are, but they're also at home. And, and that's the one thing they can lean on to try and turn this thing around. I mean, it, it would be crazy to think that they could pull this off. But let's face it, Kev, they've got a long way to go. Crazier things have happened, have not they? Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Kyrie Irving is out there with Damian Lillard. Then it's LeBron James. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Bochamp in at the three. Here's Heal. And then Heal with the dunk. Well, nice to see Heal on the runway right there, taking flight. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Irving for three. It's good from long range. Irving's got five now. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now, here is Halliburton. And Turner kicks to Halliburton. This is it to Smith. Five on the clock. Halliburton passes to Smith. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. And what an explosive finisher LeBron is. Rocking the rim whenever he goes up like that. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Matherin finds heel. Back to Matherin. Smith with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Irving surveying the floor. The pass to Bochamp. That's a two from Willard. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. And they call an illegal screen here. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. And the Bucks making a change here. Crowder's checked in. And here's LeBron outside. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Lillard. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Smith on the wing. Shoots over James. Smith's shot is good. Smith's got his second bucket of the game to go. Great at facilitating guys willing to move because Tyrese is a team first type of play. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Turner for three. And the Pacers another three. And the uniqueness of Turner, an elite shot blocker who has deep range on that jump. And the shot's good from Crowder. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Pacers trail by seven. And stolen by Lillard. Oh, and here we go. Irving's got it. The fast break chance. Good hands by now. Lillard. Indiana's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Nemhard, the pass to Brown. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Here's LeBron. And LeBron goes in town. His handle might be an underrated part of James's game. Totally throwing off the defender with that move. Here's Nemhard, Payne covering. And it's Turner finishing it off. And that dunk reverberated throughout this entire building. Oh, man. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. 
They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome today. Nemhard, the pass to Turner. With two seconds left, he takes it up and lays it in. Turner's got his third bucket of the night. Simply overpowers in the hustle stats for the Bucks. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. And they've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, onto Jakubo out there with James. Then it's Damian Lillard, then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Bochamp in at the small forward. Now Brown after LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. Brown the pass to Choppin. Here's Halliburton. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Oh, Giannis! Wow! Oh, I would love to see Giannis in the dunk contest. Wouldn't that be sweet? And here's Heald. He'll bring it up for Indiana. They are still stinging from the loss on Thursday. And that was a game to forget. You'd like to find some teachable moments, but I think they'd like to just turn the page and move forward. Yeah, and quick. Like, as quick as possible. That was a dismal showing, especially for them at the offensive end. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Jackson dishes to heel. Back to Jackson. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Jackson's got changing it up. Bobby Portis comes in for Giannis under the Gumbo, and it's Payne in for Damian Lillard. Irving from long range gets it to go from beyond the arc. Irving's got the lead up to 11 now for the Bucks. Can't drift back on Kyrie Irving when he's handling the ball like that. He's actively surveying the defense and looking for the pull up. Here's Jackson, and there are the Pacers with another bucket. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Irving attacking. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got three assists now in this one. The Pacers have gone three of four from the four here in the second quarter. Halliburton looking around. Knocked away. Over Payne. Payne with the block. And James throws it down hard. And it looks like a change in LeBron's demeanor out there. He's going into scoring mode. And the Pacers call some changes. Turner's checked in for Jackson. And it's Brown in for Halliburton. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And Brown throws it down hard. Credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, I can settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Fast break, Milwaukee. Well placed, LU pass into the layup. And Payne just playing eyes up basketball, seeing that opportunity. Pacers trail by 16. On the wing, Matherin. And that one, good. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Got that one up quick. James has got eight points here in this quarter. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Healed the pass to Brown. And it's Turner finishing it off. To stop Turner in close. As soon as he has prime positioning, he is going for the slam. Payne finds Irving about seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And the three ball is good. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. And here's the break. And here they go. And finished off by LeBron. Oh, what a nice find by Kyrie that time, balancing his offensive attack. Bucks leading by 17. 
Lillard, right side. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Lillard's got five points so far. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Down low, wants to get it to Anacumbo and does. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket and it feels like within eight feet he's going to dunk just about anything. Indiana's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Halliburton passes to Turner. And it's Turner finishing it off. He's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. And Giannis up the Kumbo throws it down hard. And not much a defender can do against Giannis there. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Pass to Turner. Irving against Heel. Halliburton outside. Six on the shot clock. Shot from 12. And James pulls it down. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They have a 22-point lead. It's the most they've led by. And Damian Lillard with the jam. And Damian Lillard one time rising up for everybody. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Timeout time called. Time the time pace. Quite getting it done. Healed against Irving. Shot by Heel. Nobody around. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Here's LeBron. And there's the big time jam. He slams it right over Turner. With a burst of speed, LeBron turning on the Jets, getting past the D. And the big hammer. Alert against Halliburton. Outside Matherin. And such a nice move to make the basket work. Matherin's got a second bucket tonight. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. Andre Kumbo with the ball. Unguarded by Heel. Coaches often talk about building a wall to try to stop the Greek freak. And that time. That wall wasn't strong enough. Halliburton for three. Sinks the triple. Halliburton's got himself on the board with three there. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. From deep LeBron. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. And there's the competitive fire of LeBron getting those three points right back. Always quick with an answer. Up top heel. Covered by Irving. Inside. Here's Matherin. And yes, it's good. Matherin's got six. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Outside Matherin. Turner with a screen for Matherin. Back to Halliburton. Five to shoot. And the rejection by Giannis. LeBron, that's a two pointer and another basket for Milwaukee. Oh, when LeBron shooting like that, nothing you can do defensively. Halliburton outside. Wide open. Count that bucket. Halliburton's got five points now this quarter. A deep three from Irving. Doesn't happen with every point guard in the league as far as setting your teammates up. Lots more scores now, but right there creating the scoring opportunity for his teammates. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. So with James on the bench, this is who Adrian Griffin has out there. Cameron Payne is out there with Irving. Then there's Bobby Portis. Then it's Jay Crowder. And it's Bochamp in at the small four. Six to shoot. Toppin banked in off the glass. Toppin's got his first points in this one. Good job from Toppin just completing a play. Oh! Yes, sir. 
Ooh, that's an old-fashioned rim wrap. Uh, just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. And stolen by Payne. It's Portis atop the key. And Portis throws it down. And Payne comes in knowing that relentless ball pressure is going to pay off. And it did that time. Pass to Jackson. Shoots over Portis. And it's denied. They recover it. He gets it in there. That's now eight points for Isaiah Jackson. For Milwaukee, they've gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Irving's shot is good. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Milwaukee. Uh, they've been active defensively, rotating well, and, and then also closing out on shots. It's resulted in a number of blocks. Man, scoring off of turnovers is so helpful. I mean, you get easy opportunities at the rim. It devastates the opponent. They've done a great job tonight of converting on those chances. Launches it from deep. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And this is postseason play at its finest. Refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Turner's checked in for Isaiah Jackson. Shaylin Smith comes in for Toppin. Benedict Matherin, he's checked in for Neesmith. And it's Buddy Heald in for Bruce Brown. And he can be pretty consistent out there, so the defense is going to have to force Beasley off the line. Passes it to Turner. Heald against Beasley. And the layup's good off the glass. There's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. And the shot's good from Crowder. Crowder not hesitating on the offensive end. And Halliburton's got the ball here for Indiana. And stolen by Payne. Two on one as they jump out on the break. For the finish. And Crowder slams it in. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. And guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted, and that's why it's going to be on to the next round for the Bucks. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And tonight's win really a reflection of how dominant they have been all series long. The four-game sweep. Yeah, I don't think they expected to pull off such a decisive win, but they had the momentum all series long. Time now, they get to move on. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for LeBron. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. Portis drives. Oh, hammering it in! Oh. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight. Getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. And the Bucks making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Jackson. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Back to Matherin. Just five to shoot. From deep three-point land, Payne grabs the board. Beasley for three. He can't hit that time. Jackson against Teal. Stolen by Jackson. Timeout called. The Bucks. Guys, your thoughts? 
and a surprising timeout here with the game in the back. Sometimes you want to have these teachable moments on the floor and not in the next day's film session. So coach electing to do that here. And now we present.